Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, it's, it's quite an honor to be here. This is the second time to come to Hong Kong for me. Uh, when, I, when I came here first time, it was uh, uh, when I was, uh, I think, a second a sophomore at university. Uh, that was uh, uh, some uh, study tour to come to Hong Kong. It is really nice to talk to you in front, uh, in front of you guys today. Um, today, uh, as he introduced me, my topic is about sign language. Um, do you know, how, can you guess what is 126? Yeah, actually it was on my profile, so probably you can get. Uh, there are at least 126 sign languages in the world. This is not only, it doesn't mean only there are 126. We found 126 sign languages right now, but still, the number is growing, growing, growing. And technically, each country or each region can have sign languages. It's different. Like, um, people can say, oh, like they were English sign language, but I, actually, like British sign language and American sign language is so different. So, Hong Kong sign language and Chinese sign language and Japanese sign language are also different, each other. Can you guess what's the number for 45 million? Okay. Um, yeah, 45 million people use sign language every day. This number is the same as the population of Colombia, which is the 28th largest country in the world. And also really similar to the Korean, South Korean population too. So, why sign language? There are, oops, yep, phone. You, 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 do you guys use phone almost every day? And also radio, um, you know, and also uh, MP3, the music things. A city, new technology, right? These kind of technology cannot use for deaf people. Can you guess, you know, do you understand, you can understand that uh, deaf people is really hard to use these kind of technologies. So, I created my company. It's called Shuar Group. We have a non-profit organization and corporation, so we call it group. But there are like two companies going, uh, working together to change this world. Our mission is tech for the deaf. As I said, there are so many technology, like Siri, uh, iPhone. Definitely you can use, uh, you guys use tablet, PC, so smartphone, that kind of things. And this technology can be used for deaf people if you use uh, combining the new technologies or just change how to use the technologies. It's different from um, we are not going to create a new technology, just we are creating how we use the technology and for deaf people. Okay. So how did I start my company? This is a picture when I was a freshman at university. Pretty much I think you are really similar to your age right now. Um, I create sign language club out of my campus in, in university. And there's a picture I'm teaching the sign language to my juniors. No, I was a freshman, so I don't have any juniors. I mean, you know, my friends in the crowd. And uh, I was really lucky to be the part of the uh, Let White Ears uh, and Song Festival. It's called uh, the NHK, which is the uh, Japanese uh, official broadcast company. And they are the biggest uh, song festival the New Year's Eve every year. And I was the first one who sung sign language at the, at the TV program. That was a little just lucky. I didn't mean I just was really good at sign language. Just I was lucky to be part of that. And this experience changed to my life so much. In the, after the uh, song battle, a uh, song festival, I found out do a little entrepreneurship entertainment in sign language. 
I'm not quite about sure about the um, situation in Hong Kong, but in Japanese, in Japan, there are not so many um, entertainment for the people. There are some sign language news and sign language documentary, but not entertainment, like a comedy show for, uh, in sign language. So we created the volunteer group in my, my school. We are, search, we are shooting the entertainment, like comedy or like traveling TV, that kind of thing in sign language as volunteer in 2008 when I was a sophomore at university. I was 22 years old, no, 21 years old at the time. Then I figured out there's so many difficulties for deaf people to survive in the world. First, they have really hard situation to buy the ticket in the counter of the station. You can, you can imagine that. Deaf people go to the counter in the station and they want to buy some specific top t uh, ticket, but it's hard to communicate each other. And also, no announcement. There are so many announcements that are saying, oh, like a train is late for five minutes, or there are some sales, or it's a happy hour for some bar, but they cannot hear the announcement. Also, this is the most biggest thing for me, no emergency call. So deaf people cannot make emergency call because they cannot make a phone call. So if they found some emergency situation, or they are in emergency situation, and they cannot call emergency call to ask, like a policeman or a hospital things. So I decide how can I change the world, and the one thing it come out researcher to be a researcher to change the, find some data or some research about, about deafness, and also a politician to change the law. And become a millionaire and donate. It also can change the world, right? Like Bill Gates. Also, entrepreneur. Maybe you guys have heard that entrepreneur, but entrepreneur is someone who are in the company and change the company, and also the, the company is going to change the world. So it's a little bit different from entrepreneur. Entrepreneur is creating their own company and change the world. An entrepreneur is join, uh, enter some company and change the company from the inside. So I was thinking, which one should I be? And I, I was 21 years old at the time, and think being an entrepreneur is the fastest way for me to change this situation. So I decided to be an entrepreneur. I'm not the kind of person who is saying, oh, I want to be the president of the company from the elementary school, or I want to be the rich person, not that kind of thing. I just want to change the world. And then I decide to be an entrepreneur because this is the fastest way for me at a time. I'm not saying, you know, like, it has been a situation, but for me, entrepreneur was the best way. So I started my company, and now my company have a four different uh, products. I'm going to explain each one from now. First, help needed, like ambulance, but no way to make emergency call that I explained before. So we create video leader service. Um, I put Chinese, but I don't know like it's, it's understandable for them, um, for you guys. But this is like a video chat sign language interpretation. So I like just use like a iPhone or iPad, and if they have internet, just use a like video chat, and they can call, or they can make a, make a, make a phone call, or just have a interpret, interpreting service, face-to-face -face interpreting service. Beer, uh, internet or uh, video chat. It's also including English and Chinese and Korean. This is like a, just verbal communication. 
It's uh, 24 hours and three, uh, three, uh, every, I know, 24 hours for day, four weeks, English, and Chinese, Korean. And sign language is actually like 9 to 5 p.m. But technically, deaf people and foreign people just go to the shop, and they can get a video reader service for free, and shop is going to pay. Uh, this is a business model. A shop, uh, deaf people go to the shop, but they have some difficulty to communication, as I explained. Then, if you have a, this iPad, it's kind of hard to, to see, but this iPad. <laughs> yeah, and so we provide sign language service for them, and we got money from the shop, so deaf people can get uh, interpretation service for free. And actually, it's including English, Chinese, Korean right now. This is a business model. This idea comes from a lecture at my university. There are some lectures that create a new business. So if you want to be an entrepreneur, you should study hard at a lecture. Maybe it's help you. I'm not, I'm not, I cannot guarantee you, but yeah. And also, uh, we provide, do you know 311 Japanese tsunami, uh, you know, earthquake things? So after 311, we provide our service for free for the area the disaster attacked. And now there are 350 other uh, devices that can use, deaf people and foreign people can use our device in Japan. And Morioka City is also in located to the uh, disaster area that they are using our, our service the most in Japan. We won nine awards in seven business contests so far. And second one, second business, I mean, second business, if you're showing sign language movie or like some sign language video, how, if you have some difficulty to understand how to search in sign language, if you're a sign language learner, I mean, you are learning Chinese or English, Japanese, when you have a listening quiz or listening part, you need Japanese, Chinese dictionary, and also Chinese, Japanese dictionary, both. But probably you can find how to sign dock, dock or chairs on internet, but if you see some sign first and you want to know the meaning of a sign, how do you search? No way to search in sign, by sign language. So we create sign language keyboard, which is called Slint. So technically, uh, you can type the shape of finger and the, the position of your hand, right and left. And you can search like this. So, because it doesn't show everything, just hand shape and position doesn't show everything of sign language. So you have to search, but still, you can get some clue. And finally, you can get a meaning of sign language. This say summer hot fun this time. So this is how we create sign language dictionary right now. So uh, this is what we think the best sign language dictionary. So search in sign language, we use our technology, sign language keyboard. And also dictionary have to have a lot of words, but it's really hard to make uh, so many words because sign language is, um, you can imagine that not so many people using the specific sign language, like a Japanese sign language, or Korean sign language, or Hong Kong sign language. Not so many people use specific sign language. But if you upload by user, like YouTube, we can get a lot of words. Also, most popular words. There are so many sign language words, but you want to know which one is the most popular. It's just like a, like it, like a Facebook. We call it fit, but you know, like a fit it. And also the new words, there's so many new words come out, like iPad and Android. There's so many new words come out. So we are using the Quora. Uh, maybe, I mean, it just, you can ask to other people how to sign for Android. So we basically, this idea is similar to Wikipedia. So just people, like crowd base, it means crowd base. So user can upload or change or edit or evaluate other people's words, and then we are creating sign language dictionary together. This is our project, crowd-based di dictionary. Also, this idea comes from my university lecture. 
And we already apply for the PCT, which, call, uh, which is a basically idea is like a water patent. There are no water patents, but you know, like we can use PCT system to apply for a lot of country. And also we won two awards in two business contests, and I spoke about it TEDx Tokyo 2012, and actually it's recognized by Ashoka and Forbes in states. Third one, if you go to some tour, maybe you, at your age, you're not going to tour guide, but still, uh, there are some tour, deaf people want to go to tour guide to, to understand what, what, you know, the place or sightseeing, then they cannot hear what the guide said. So we created the application for deaf people. This idea is uh, we shoot sign language video before the first, then you can go to some place and deaf people can use, see the movie of the shrine, or the history of a shrine or a history of some bridge, uh, like a historical place. So deaf people can get, get an idea of, of the place in sign language by video. This is also work with Kamakura City, which is one of the most famous city, uh, historical city in Japan, and supported by FIT, Financial Industry in Tokyo, and going to expand to museum, like audio guide in museum. If you cannot get audio guide, so we are going to change to sign language, that audio guide. The last one is for this one. I think you saw this, I, I think you saw this uh, slide before. So we're still doing the making entertainment in sign language. So we are creating the podcast. I think you, you, if you use iPod, you have a lot of podcasts on your iPhone, iPhone or iPod. So we are creating Japanese sign language podcast. And this old comedy, not about a news, not about a serious political issue. It's we are talking about if it's like just funny comedies. There are like some comedians showing some comedy joke in sign language. And also we are saying, oh, if deaf people died, if it became a ghost, the deaf people can hear or not, or they do sign or not. The kind of discussion. So we are not like serious topic. We just doing the, some comedy shows. And it's it's supported by the uh, my I graduate K University, so I, I got a support from the alumni of K University for three years, and we got a good design award 2012, 2010 in Japan. So this is our goal. We are using Slint and VRS and guide application and podcast together, then we are creating the, the place, the world, that these people can challenge new things without any feeling of their handicap. It's impossible to make the world that these people can hear, but still, we can change the world that these people cannot feel their handicap. Like, we are using the grasses or things. You know, it's, it's not handicap anymore. So we are creating the world to, for deaf people to, that they can change everything. The topic is make a difference. So my, my idea, my life, or my task is changing the world for deaf people, I mean, of deaf people. And I, I really want to see um, you guys can challenge any topic. You are not too early to start. And also, of, of course, you're not too old at all, at all. I started my company when I was 21. And you can do it. So uh, I'm really happy to see you guys in the future. Thank you.